I want to make something really clear. I want to be a part of creating positive change in the world, not encouraging rampant consumerism. I have recently began researching the impacts of fashion on the world and guys, once you start, it really hurts. I feel a great responsibility to encourage better ways that we can all consume less and need less in our lives. So this video is a bit of a refresh of my intentions for this channel going forward as I begin to learn more about the implications of fast fashion. This does not mean that I am ditching my love for fashion and clothing. You will still see fashion styling videos here on my channel. What I want is to just show you guys and other women around the world that we don't need as much as we think we we do and that we can create wardrobes that we love where every item is worn multiple times with multiple other things in our wardrobe. This journey for me all started because all of a sudden my wardrobe became so overwhelming. In less than two years my wardrobe had doubled in size. The burden of my clothes caused me so much anxiety that I was scared to open the cupboards. But worst of all when I looked inside my cupboards I had that dreaded feeling of having nothing to wear. I'm sure you guys can relate to this. I'm sure other people have felt this way. So if you have, let me know in the comments below. The changing point for me was when I created my first capsule wardrobe. The process of this completely changed the way I viewed my wardrobe and clothing. I then went down my usual rabbit hole of researching and learning everything that I could. I went from learning about capsule wardrobes to decluttering to minimalism. And then I ended up at fast fashion. And once I had learned about fast fashion, there was no turning back. The exploitation of adults and children around the world, women being sexually harassed, factories riddled with safety issues, fire escapes literally being locked, factories crumbling and burning and killing thousands of innocent people, employees going to work every single day wondering if their factory will be the next, employees working 13 hour shifts anxious every single moment they are there. And this all goes on while I sit here in the comfort of my home, wondering what Zara and H&M will be bringing out next week. That's the human rights side. The environmental impacts and the animal welfare side, that's a completely different rabbit hole. I will address that, but I will save that for another time. So going forward on my channel, I will be quitting fast fashion. It won't be an easy thing for me, someone who loves fashion and loves trends, but it was a simple decision to make. You will still see fashion styling tips here on my channel, but the added value I'm gonna give you is practical tips that you can take with you to curate the wardrobe of your dreams so that you don't have to buy as much stuff and you don't have to have as much stuff, but you'll for sure have endless outfits and you'll probably save money along the way. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you. It is thanks to you that I can get this message out to more people and hopefully create a positive change in the world. In the description below, I have left an abundance of resources. If you are interested and you don't know where to start, I would start with the factories documentary listed at the top. So I'd like to end this video with a quote. Every time you spend money, you're casting a vote for the world you want.